Well, good morning, everybody. Um, I don't know about you, but to me, this is a very special uh, day. It's, it's, a, it's emotional, too, uh, to be here as we officially break ground on the new home of the Bay of Pigs Museum and, and Library. It's especially meaningful to me because my family, like you, have a long history of fighting for the freedom of the United States of America. My, let me see if I get this right, great, 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 six of them, grandfather, fought in the Revolutionary War to create this great nation. And then my father is an Air Force vet who served in Vietnam with many of you from the brigade, again, in the fight against communism that doesn't just happen in Cuba, but happens all around the world. So, um, por eso es, es natural que su organización es, es tan cerca de, de mi corazón. And I am so grateful for the friendships we have formed and for the lessons you have taught me. Um, I sometimes feel like you're now part of my family. Uh, so some years ago, how did we get started? Some years ago, Ricky Sanchez, my favorite District 5 um, resident, um, reached out to our office. And um, you know, it's kind of hard to say no to Ricky Sanchez, for those of you that know him. And so we immediately knew that we needed to work, particularly with you, Carlos Luis, to come up with a fundraising plan to make sure this museum lasts forever and that the Brigada is never forgotten. And it was you, me, and the indefatigable Maggie Fernandez. Stand up, Maggie. Maggie, Who worked so much to put this plan together. And so let's think back on, on all that we've achieved since those early days. It's really been an amazing partnership between Miami-Dade County and the state of Florida, which we just heard from. We have raised enough money on the county commission at very first day to make sure the museum kept its doors open, job one. Job two was to make sure the museum and library has ongoing annual operating funds in the budget every year. We've done that. My colleagues on the county commission have supported me for that. That has, that annual operating commitment means you have a fabulous museum director. Yuli, where are you? Stand up. Um, so awesome, awesome, awesome. And, and then um, to the annoyance of uh, Senator Rodriguez and um, Senator Avila and, and Rep. Alex Rizzo, I have um, been uh, walking the halls in Tallahassee. I've got my sneakers on today uh, to, to prove it, to make sure we got not just your first ever, but your second ever um, appropriation to support the museum. So three for three, and uh, we're very happy about that. Uh, this museum makes its home in the beautiful uh, District 5. I know my colleagues are here, but um, it really is the best district in Miami-Dade County. Uh, and I was very proud um, to provide direct support from our office and $500,000 for a really beautiful expansion of digital resources so we actually get to hear the voices of the veterans and listen to their personal stories. So i um, very proud of that. But um, people, uh, the work is not done. Um, the brigade still needs to raise a little money to finish the museum and build out all the exhibits. So I hope you brought your checkbooks, because I did. Uh, <laughs> so. I am proud um, to announce today, here's my present and my surprise for you, Carlos Luis. Um, I'm proud to announce that the Miami-Dade County Commission will be awarding another $1 million to... <laughs> so, so, that gets you closer to the finish line. Anyway, 
I brought my checkbook, people. Get yours out. And to my colleagues, Kevin Cabrera and Rob Gonzalez, always supporting this museum in my little district. I appreciate all of your friendship. La historia de la Brigada 2506 no se puede olvidar. Es una parte importante y, y, y también triste de la historia de nuestra nación. Cuando olvidamos nuestra historia, no podemos aprender de ella. Cuando no reflexionamos sobre nuestra historia, no podemos compro comprometernos a hacerlo mejor. It is important and meaningful for our brigade veterans to see their legacy preserved because it is important and meaningful for younger generations to know, to come here, to understand that the fight, the Cuban fight for freedom and liberty, one that continues, unfortunately, to this very day. So congratulations, a wonderful job.